What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at an Apollo 15 photo. Wait until you see this photo. Talk about extremes. We got areas that are real bright. We got areas that are really dark. How do you have that combination? It's whether to be like a little bit lighter area and somewhat of a dark area, but this is extreme. When you see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. When I saw this photo, I said, man, this is going to be a challenge. And man, was it. Wait until you see this. The other thing is, too, it's like, because of the manipulation, you do your best to try to get everything as sharp as you can, and it's really, really difficult on this photo, but then some things, mm, pretty good, they stand out pretty well, like a 7 or 8 out of a 10, and some areas are probably like a 5. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see the photo here. The ID number is AS15-94-12836. Unfortunately, it's a JPEG. It is what it is. You know how that goes. All right, again, look at the background, extreme darkness. In fact, we'll just zoom into this a little bit. Check this out, folks. What is going on there? Extremely dark and then really, really light. If you look into this photo, like I said, I always tell you to look into the photo and not at it. Look at the bunch of little dots all in this whited out area. And I say whited out. This is manipulated and sensed in a big way. Right here in the lower right corner, look at this structure. You can see it sitting right there. There's a small one right here on the lower right as well. Not far from that one. See right there? Okay. If you look at this area right here, you can see all these little tiny white dots in this one area. Okay. If you slide over to the left, you can see what it looks like. I'm going to just bring it down right around here. Halfway up the photo, left-hand side, I see one, two, three, four, and five, what looks like foundations or pads, as I call them, with objects on top of them. Kind of hard to see, but they are there. Again, some of them in the really dark areas, some of them eh, kind of covered over, and some of them are in the bright areas. You go up here, halfway up, left-hand side, right here. You have something that looks like it's on a rectangular foundation type thing. And it looks like some kind of weird stretched out dome kind of thing right there. Not sure what to make of that, but it is actually there. If you go over to the middle of this photo, right about here, you can see what looks like a crater and a crater. Is it really a crater and a crater? Well, we're going to clean that up for you in a moment. Here, here's a perfect example of this. When you look just below that crater and a crater right here, look at this shape of this object right here. Right here, I'm going around it with my cursor. It's got this really funky shape right here. It looks like it's elongated on the left-hand side, and it comes out to almost a round face to it. But you can see part of it's black, and the rest of it's white, okay? Also, have a look at what's inside this crater. Right here, you can see with these long lines and things like that in here. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into Photoshop. All right, so you can see right here, I rotated this photo counterclockwise about 27 degrees, just so we can get the lunar edge right here at the top pretty much straight. All right, again, if we look at the lower left right here, just in this area alone, right here, I'm just going to go around all of these. You can see that. Take a close look at that. And folks, get out your magnifiers and your eyepieces. You're definitely going to need it in this. Look at the smaller ones. I'm just going to circle a few of them. We have things in the bright areas and we have things in the dark areas, as you can see. This object right here I was just talking about, it looks like it's doing this. And we have something that looks like it's doing this. And we see like, like a line, line, and it looks like it's doing this. At least that's what it looks like in the photo, right? You can see that? Also looks like there's something going off. On top of that, off to the side, you can see that right here. Very, very fine. Okay, when I first started to enhance this photo, this is what I found. Okay, we still have this lighter and darker areas, and you're going to have that anyway. And then I said, okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we balance this thing out so we have the brighter areas like we see here in the original, 
We can bring the brighter areas down and then bring the darker areas up and try to balance it out. And this is what you end up with. So then you go to work on this thing with a burn tool. And let me tell you folks, it doesn't take no 10 minutes to do this. It takes quite a bit of time because you're trying to bring out all of the shapes of these objects that may be in the photo, right? So got it pretty balanced out. Pause it right here and check it out. So then we darken this photo to further squeeze the photo so that we can see these actual individual objects. And then of course, anything that had a light signature, we made it slightly brighter, okay? And this is the finished product. Okay, now let's have a look at these here on the left hand side. You can see this area here. I thought this is pretty cool. It almost looks like there's something standing up as opposed to just a simple crater you see here. But notice there's something right here. At first I said, oh, that's nothing more than the crater wall. Is it? Mm, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure because it looks like we got something right here that looks like it's standing up as opposed to laying down. Now, it could very well be just shadowing, and that's, that's fine, too. But again, folks, pause it anywhere you see anything that grabs your eyes. Again, here. These are foundations or pads or whatever you want to call them, and these objects are sitting on top, right? Just weird-shaped things. Could be buried halfway in the ground. I don't know. I'm not going to show you every little piece that's in here to see, but some of the things that really stand out. Again, this object here. And you see this other piece going off like this. Okay. Very, very dim here, but you can just barely see. It almost looks like an archway. And then, of course, we have a line here. This is like this. It almost looks like there's some kind of large, elongated dome type thing uh, on the surface here, right? Put slight sharpness in there. Folks, look at all the little pieces here. Look at this. Structure galore. That's what I'm seeing here. This area right here. Notice the shape of this so-called crater. And then we have something almost looks like it's shaped like this, but something on top of it. It's like it's looking over the crater. See that? We have these other objects right next to it. Very, very vague. Barely in there, but they're right there. Here's that other piece I was just showing you earlier. And then it has another, it almost looks like it's got a face that does this in the front. Doing something like that. And again, we have this weird rectangle area on there, right? And I showed you that earlier, right there. Come down here. Check this out. This whole area right here. See, it's kind of vague. It's not really anything really super sharp. Although you can see something standing right out, looks pretty good. Check this out. Where is it located? Imagine that. All in this whole area is completely centered out. See it? And notice how it is almost squared off where they actually centered this. See it? You can see something right here on this real bright piece right here. You can see... Looks like it's doing this. Looks like some kind of weird tower thing. Okay, we have something down here. Now, that may be just part of the lunar surface. Again, completely distorted out to try to hide what's really in this photo. But you can see this whole area, no doubt in my mind, is structures. And you can check it out right here. Have a better look with your magnifiers. It's hard to bring out something clear that has been covered over. It's really difficult to do that. Okay, so we're going to leave it brighter right now. Go up to here, above this bright crater. Again here, that other object. And it seems like they really didn't pay too much attention to the side here, where you've got all of these other ones here. Again, this object right there. See that? There's something going on there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Something's on that. That's not natural to be rectangular area like that. And like I said, all of these features down here. And we have little pieces like this. Now, this one's unique right here because if we were to go into this photo, it looks like it's, it's a square piece with something sticking straight out of it. It's dark, but it's right here. You can see the square to it. See, like almost like a dark circle. And you can see something sticking straight out of this thing. See that? 
right there. Here's another one of those things right here. See this? And it's got something sticking straight out of it. See that? Right there. Check that out. But look at all the other little pieces around it. Very small. Not very clear. I get it. But again, we have to deal with manipulation. Okay. See that? So we have two of these objects. One there. One here. That look like, and you folks have said it before, it looks like some kind of weird cannons, right? This object right here. Notice it's doing this. There's one, two, has this weird shape in here. Like it's into the mountain type thing. Don't know what to make of that. See that? Bring it up a little bit. Again, folks, have a look. There you go. I mean, look at this. I can look down in the lower right corner here, this photo, and I can see these objects, hundreds of them, all the way down in the base of this alone. Look at this. Like objects right here. Just on the outside of this crater. Not sure what to make of that. Check this thing out. Looks like it has things protruding off the top of this. Got that weird opening to it, almost like dome-like structure. I'm not sure if this is an opening here or if that's just a darkened area. See it? No, it almost looks like it's got an opening to it. But check that out. You just got to get your eyes adjusted to seeing in a lot smaller pieces. And once you do, everything starts to pop. This hole left of the photo now, right there. Check that out. Got this one, this one, these here, this, this, all of this right here. See that? Make it a little bit brighter. Pause it right there, have a look. All of this area up here at the top of the photo just under the edge, if you will, of this crater. And I don't think they're craters. They almost look like satellite dishes where the edges literally come off the ground. See this right here? Check this out. It literally looks like it's off the ground under here. Check out the little pieces just out of the edge of this crater. Okay. We got two pieces here. They look like they're rectangular. Very, very hard to see. Right here. Another one right on the side of that. Can't really make out the face of that thing if it's got anything, but you can see that. Right there, that's dark. Right there, these two. You got something going on inside this crater as well. Look at that, right there. Bring that up. Bring it back down. Something inside here. You can see these little pieces. Really, really vague, but again, what are we dealing with, folks? Complete distortion, either super dark or super light. And again, you just have to try to balance it the best you can and then try to bring out all of the details you can possibly find. There's a lot to see, folks, there and this whole area right up in here. That, to me, screams intelligently made. That's not natural. I'll leave it right here, folks. Pause this. Have a really good look at the eyepiece or your magnifiers and have a close look at this whole photo. And there you go. Folks, like I said, when I started out doing this photo, I looked at this thing like a challenge and it definitely was a challenge. You could see where anything that had this whiteness over it wasn't super clear. And you go to the side where a lot of that stuff was in the darkness and nothing covering over it, meaning the white, you could see that stuff pretty clear. What's that tell you? A camera's not gonna be selective like that. So. They put over this white to try to censor out what's really there. And they did a fantastic job, within reason. But there's still objects we can pull out, like on the left, and just over that brightened up, if you will, crater, you can see other things that look like shapes of structures and nothing natural, right? Again, I believe these to be cities. And I think a lot of people who think that they can see these, they're going, well, I got a telescope, I should be able to see that. I don't care how good your telescope is. We don't know how small these things are.
When you talk about the Apollo missions, the LROC, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera, these photos are being taken from 75 to 80 miles above the surface. That's it. Here on Earth, you've got atmospheric distortion. You've got, you know, light pollution from here on Earth. You've got all kinds of crazy stuff. There, it's right there, just over the surface. You can imagine these photos are crystal clear. Unfortunately, we're only getting bits and pieces of it, but I'll take it. I don't mind. Anyway, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you have to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, more moon, more Mars, more cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.